hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is Sakile if you want to subscribe hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified of the videos that I post every day hit the notification button do not forget to like to share co and comment on my videos welcome as I usher you to your healing and deliverance today the Lord is saying do not forget the value of the things that you lost never forget the value of the things that you've lost you have lost your loved ones, never forget their value. You have lost hope, you have lost everything, you have lost a lot of things in your life, never forget the values they had in your life. Hallelujah. Let us look at the book of 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse number 17 to 24. I will read. Verse number 17 says, When Samuel saw Saul, the Lord said, that's the man I told you about. He will rule my people. Verse number 18 says, Just then Saul approached Samuel at the gateway and asked, Can you please tell me where the seer's house is? And then Samuel replied, I am the seer. Go up to the place of worship ahead of me. We will eat there together. And in the morning I will tell you what you want to know and send you on your way. 20 says, and don't worry about the donkeys you lost three days ago, for they have been found and I am here to tell you that you and your family are the focus of all the Israel hopes. 21 says, Saul replied, but I am only from the tribe of Benjamin, the smallest tribe in Israel, and my family is the least important of all the families of that tribe. Why are you talking like this to me? Verse 22 says, Then Samuel brought Saul and his servant into the hall and placed them at the head of the table, honoring them above the 30 special guests. Let's look at 23. Samuel then instructed the cook to bring Saul the finest cut of meat, the pieces that had been set aside for the guests of honor. Verse 24 says, So the cook brought in the meat and placed it before Saul. Go ahead and eat, Samuel said i was saving it for you even before i invited these others so Saul ate with samuel that day hallelujah hallelujah if we look at the story Saul was about to give up on looking for his donkeys when he met when he met samuel Saul was looking for what he's lost which had revealed god's plan in his life Saul has been found eating with the greatest chief, which, who is uh, Samuel. But when we look at the purpose of Saul leaving his house, it was to look for his donkeys. Donkeys may, like, may look like it's nothing to, to, to us, or it may look like it means nothing to some of us. But to, to Saul, it meant a lot. God uses what means a lot to you. To actually set you to the stage for the next dimension of who you're going to be in life. God uses what looks minor in your life to actually put you to where he wants you to be in your life. Hallelujah. There must be someone in your life who will add value or a valuable perspective in your life. Not everyone. Not everyone in your life adds value. Not everyone in your life puts value. But for you, you must, you must have someone who add a perspective value in your life, who brings value in your life. There might be challenges you have encountered. You didn't know those challenging, those challenges you went through were just preparing you or were just diverting your journey to where the Lord wants you to be. It took souls to lose his donkeys, which were so valuable to, to, to him, to find the, the place where, where Samuel was, to eat in, with the kings, to eat like a king. It, it needed the donkeys to be lost. There are things that you needed to lose in your life so that the Lord can put you to higher places. There are things that you have lost on your life while you, you have lost in your life while the Lord is still preparing the table before you. When we listen to Samuel, Samuel says, 
I have kept this aside, meaning this has been planned a long time ago. The Lord knows that until Saul loses the donkeys, then it will be when he eats with, the, with, the, with Samuel. Hallelujah. This simply means in your life, you must have someone valuable. You must have someone who understands your anointing. You must have someone who sees greatness in you. You must, you must have someone who sees life, who sees potential in you so that you may reach the stage where the Lord wants you to be. It has to be someone who sees soul. It has to be someone who invites soul. In your life, not everyone has to intervene in your marriage. Not everyone has to put advice. Not everyone has to put suggestion, but it must be a person who values you. It must be a person who sees greatness. It must be a person whose anointing is upon you. Hallelujah. Not everyone is supposed to comment on your issues. Not everyone is supposed to walk your journey. Not everyone is supposed to walk with you when you are when you are when you are in your journey. But it must be somebody who understands your anointing. It must be somebody who understands where God wants to put you. There are people in life who need to come and tell you words and they need to live completely. There are people in life that you will meet and they need to disappear after that because the Lord has done what he needed them to do. Hallelujah. There are people in your life that do not add value or they will add value unto a certain stage and they have to go. Allow those people to go because the Lord, it is time that you have lost them that the Lord will give you something new. It is the time that you have lost them, that God will put you into higher places. That don't, it, it is something that we, we think it is nothing, but it was everything to Saul. It was valuable to Saul. If Saul didn't value his donkeys, he wasn't even going to stand up or go out and look for them. The Bible says it was in his stage where Samuel saw, where Samuel in, invited him to come and eat. But when we check it was planned, the Lord knows where you're supposed to be. The Lord knows that he needed to lose his donkeys. Hallelujah. All I am saying today, understand who you are and understand the people that need to uplift you. Understand the people that need to support your vision. Understand the people that need to go with you to run with your vision. Hallelujah. You need people. You need opportunities. You need people that recognizes your veil of what you lost. When Samuel talks to Saul, he says, I know you are looking for your donkeys and your donkeys be free, they are found. But now I want you to do this. I want you to come and sit with me and eat this that I have prepared and set aside for you. He said, I have said it even before the other guests. Meaning there is someone that you, 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 that there is someone that need to notice you. There is someone that has what you need. There is someone who need to push you to sit on that table. You need that someone who has that anointing. Hallelujah. You need that someone who's going to take your hand. The Bible says it has to be someone. Meaning it couldn't be someone else, but it had to be someone. So today, I want you to understand that in your life, you need that somebody who will understand your potential. You need that somebody who will respect what God has installed in you. You need somebody who will see the greatness in you so that he can invite you to sit on that table, so that he can uplift you. Not everyone will up uplift you. Not everyone is part of your journey. Some people have to be in the journey and they have to leave. Let them go so that the Lord can do wonders. Today, the Lord is saying, let go of what happened in your life and understand that it was bringing, it was bringing a great value and understand that it is of a great value in your life. It has to be the donkeys that were lost. It has to be something else that is lost in your life that will make you realize that you don't belong to just be an ordinary person, but you belong to the king kingship position. You don't belong to be just an employee, but you belong to be an employer. You don't belong just to 
to follow. You don't belong to be the tail, but you belong to be the head. It needed the donkeys to be lost for soul to, to see, for soul to sit on the table, for soul to eat like a king. Even in your life, child of God, it needed that loss that you encounter. You have, you might have lost your job, everything that you might have lost, and it caused so much pain, and you are still in search of it. The Lord is, is saying to you, all things happen together for good for those who believe in Him. Hallelujah. Stay blessed. Continue to watch. Continue to subscribe. In Jesus' name, amen.